Rick Hong here for Hollywood First Look Features. Today, I am with the star of the movie Made in Italy, Michal Richardson. Michal, I had to tell you, congratulations. I had a great time watching this movie. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. So something that I found out, and of course, everybody's going to find this out, but yeah. you're opposite your real life father, Liam Neeson. Yes, so sir. I'm curious, how was that experience? It was... It, it, it made it a lot of fun. I was very comfort, comfortable with him on set. You know, not only is my dad, he's my best friend, so we were hanging out a lot of the time. He, his little trailer waiting room area was a little nicer than mine, so I would sneak in. We would just hang out. He loves drinking tea. We would, tea, we would have little tea breaks between, between scenes. But then also being able to watch him for the first time really on set and how he sort of managed and worked um it was it, it was really cool i originally wrote the film to be in it uh, uh maybe 10 or 12 years ago and now i'm too old so uh, <laughs> you still look young I, you look great <laughs> i i appreciate you saying that but i definitely feel like i'm too old i'm certainly not michael's age um and look as it went on i realized i was I was seeing it clearer and clearer, and I and I I couldn't imagine how would I give it away to somebody else, and then they would do something much better than whatever I came up with. But because it wasn't my idea, I would hate it. So, you know, I, I was very lucky that I had two producers who decided that they thought I maybe could give it a go as well. We made a short film, uh, which went pretty well, and we felt like okay, we could try it. It's and then I got lucky. We just got really, really lucky, Rick, because independent film needs to be supported by A-list film stars. Brutally, honestly, you know, Liam gets paid double what the entire budget of this film was cost, was normally, you know? So he took a huge chance because he needs to work with a first time director like he needs a hole in the head. And he definitely didn't need a pay cut. But I think, you know, there are some parallels between his real life and this story. And he said to me that when he read the script, he, you know, he laughed and he, he cried and then he felt a bit scared about doing it. And that is a very good thing for an actor to feel a little bit afraid of what you're gonna do. Is the experience different for you to grow up watching him on screen as all these different characters and then yeah. have to be there present with him, right opposite him and knowing that you've got to hold your own? Well, yeah, you know, I never thought of it that way because I, I grew up my whole life watching fi his films and, and my mom's films. So like, to some extent, you become, become desensitized to that. But then again, working with him in person and then seeing the person that you grew up watching, you know, on, on film, who is different than the real life person. Seeing his, his, his work face, on was 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 cool and different yeah he said look i i, I want to do the movie and it doesn't matter if you don't like this idea but would you consider meeting my real life son to play my son and uh i did and i was in, immediately thrilled to discover that his son is insanely good looking uh, <laughs> but, then, but, then, but then he you know he's very very camera friendly but then he was incredibly talented really charming um and and i don't mean this in a ghoulish way in any way but you know his life experience has been that there is something a bit lost there you know he he's a searcher like i am a searcher. I wrote the script my dad died when i was six that's where this sort of started wow. so he and i had this kind of brotherly connection right away <laughs> Probably on a Tinder date. On a what? Tinder. You know what Tinder is. It's an app. You know an app is. Yeah, I know what a bloody app is, sir. Okay, well, Tinder's a Well, okay, so there is a fun scene, and I want to say it's almost organic to some degree, where you and your father are at a, at a dinner, you're talking about technology and apps. I'm trying to figure out, is that ad-libbed, or maybe you've actually probably had a real life conversations like that with your father maybe like the acting actually felt more natural than it felt like you were acting um for sure i mean he is so technologically inept and 
to some extent I am too, but I will get phone calls every now and then. What remote does this work? What, what, why are there so <laughs> many remotes? What's going on? Like, dad, calm down, I got you. Just to, just to finish up, Rick, you know, if anybody watching this is thinking about watching the film, I hope it might make some people, you know, smile and feel a bit hopeful about life. But also, it's the 90 minute vacation that nobody gets to take in 2020. You know, you could go, you can go to Italy very inexpensively this year, it turns out. I would 100% agree. Congratulations on a beautiful movie. The movie is made in Italy. Until next time, I'm Rakong.